Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Count. So today, we're back for the start of a brand new Terraria adventure. And this one's going to be a special one as once again, Relogic have given me the amazing opportunity to show you guys a little bit of early Terraria 1.4. So, this is going to be an expert mode let's play, and up until launch day, we're going to have a couple of episodes scattered about, and in between those episodes, we're going to be cracking on as normal with our modded mage. So, I'm going to assume you didn't see my journey mode reveal video, and I'm going to show you what it's like to make a new character and a new world, and you know what? I'll even let you listen to this amazing title music, because I did speak over it in my original video. All right, hopefully the atmosphere is flowing. So let's make a new character. All right, so I'm gonna need another clothy ear. I have one for journey mode, which I haven't really had the chance to play yet. So this will be my first starting character in Terraria 1.4. Now, please bear in mind, I did have a few spoilers when I made that video. So if I don't react to anything that you guys are like, whoa, what is that? It's just because at some point or another, I've probably seen it. But that being said, I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of stuff that I really haven't seen. So, you know, it's just a bit of a warning. All right, so I'm going to make a classic character. That's a small change from my journey mode video, because if you saw that, journey mode was actually down here. So journey's going to be on by default. That's pretty interesting. All right, here we go. Chippy. Oh, wait, I made him wrong. All right, that's better. Now he looks like me. Okay, so we need a brand new world. And the world that we got is the Defeated Station. I don't know about that name. Let's try again. The Lightful Harbor of Wood. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Right, so I'm going to make a medium world. It's going to be expert. And I'm actually going to let the game decide whether it's corruption or crimson. All right, so here we are. A brand new expert world. Now, I think what I want to do to start off with is I actually want to prepare where my town's going to go. Because we know about NPC happiness... We know that they like to be a little bit separated. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mapping out where some of my boxes are going to go. I don't know if this is the best idea, right? Because it is expert mode at the end of the day. And we all know that expert mode slimes are kind of annoying, right? Glad to see that Jacob the Guide is no different, right? Getting in everybody's way. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to build it like this, right? One up. So a little bit taller than I'd usually do a house. But I think next to these two trees, God, it looks it looks gorgeous. I really like it. Okay, let me open this up. So we'll do a door here, and then I'm also going to do a, a door here, like that. Oh, look at it. It's already beautiful. Are there any more of these trees? Because I might just try and get them in between those two. Or I think we chop this one down, and we build another one here. You know what? I quite like that. I like this little step that I've got. I like that it's uh, that it's layered. I really do want to stick around and build, but, you know, I probably shouldn't, right? There's like a big army of blue slimes this way. So I think we should go left. So one thing I found when I was chopping down trees is that you can actually just hit the base of them and uh, and stuff might fall out. Like, I got this lemon. Have a little look at this lemon. Minor improvements to all stats increases life regen for five minutes. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Just to get a little buff right at the start. That's, that's pretty sick. It's kind of like Animal Crossing. If only you could just right-click on the base of them and then you could shake them a little bit easier. That'd be pretty sick. I'd like that. Look at that. There's animals living in there. Just more just more wood. These re-sprites look fantastic, by the way. They look so good. We had that spoiled in the, uh, the news update the other day. I think they look so good. And look at the sunflowers. I love how many squirrels are in these trees. <laughs> They're just hiding in there. I kind of feel bad now. All I wanted was a lemon. The lemons grow on trees? Yeah, they do, right? I think I think that's gotta be that's gotta be a pure fact right there. Alright, so this is our, our first cave system. So let's take it slow. Let's see if we can find anything new. Probably, right? My favorite update back in the day was uh with Trari 1.2. For and one of the reasons why I loved it so much is because when you came down into a cave for the very first time, you would often find new stuff inside of uh inside of chests, and I really like that that kind of thing when you when you get a new update and you're like ooh new starting stuff okay so a bit of a re-sprite on this i'll take that thank you very much that might lead to a hook one day 
Oh god, look at this. Look at this, right? No tricking me, Red. Oh, so they just they just break now? Ah, okay. So that's something new. That that some pressure plates just uh just break when you destroy them. You know what? That's probably to combat where people would pick up a, a pressure plate and then just hold it to look out for traps. They're like, well, if you can't have a pressure plate, you won't be able to find them. I apologize for these random little lag spikes, by the way, guys. It's not Terraria. It's my uh, my graphics cards being, um, being funny. It's always when I play vanilla Terraria for some reason, but I'm looking into it. I'm going to try to get it sorted. But uh, I guess if you're playing an early build, you should probably let people know that <laughs> that's just a thing. Oh, wow. Look at this. First house. What do we get? Boomerang boys. Hell yeah. It's strange because it's the same items, right? But they're so slightly different. Like, there's a little bit more shading on this bomb. So it's kind of like Uncanny Valley for a little bit. You're like, I know this item, but I also kind of don't. Oh, should we, we should have a little look at this. Oh, that works really well, actually. Yeah, I quite like that. That's nice. I was really excited when I saw a gif of this. So, yeah, seeing it in action, that's that's pretty chill. I'll take this uh, chandelier as well. Do you know what? Because I'm going to build a nice house, I'm actually just going to take everything. Why not? Usually, I would leave it and just be kind of lazy. But I think if I'm gonna if I'm gonna take it slow, I'm gonna take it all. Right, we got that shuriken, so we can take this out. This will be good because I actually I probably do need more more gel for uh, for torches. Nice. Okay, let's keep going down. All right, so just standard jellyfish. That's fine. We can deal with you. Oh, God. <laughs> it's electrocuting. Don't go down there, boys. So what else is about? I always love a good natural starting cave. It's it's actually the best. Oh, there's some there's some ore up here. I don't know how hard it's going to be. I don't know if they've, they've rebalanced anything. So I'm actually going to grab ore. <laughs> Usually I'd be like, nah, I don't really need it. I'll go straight to, uh, to jungle armor. But I think because I want to, you know, I want to pace myself. I'm going to take any ore I can find. Ooh, gems. Nice. What are they? I always get confused between uh, sapphires and diamonds. I think these are sapphires, right? Yeah, they are. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, let's plod on further. Hey, look at that. Second house. Is that a new painting? Because I don't recognize it. What are you, mate? <laughs> this looks very strange. What's it called? It's called the American Explosive. You know all paintings in Terraria are just based off of uh, real life paintings. So I know one of you is going to look at that and go, Oh wow, what a what a wonderful interpretation. Me over here knows nothing about art. I'm just like, ooh, looks looks good. Okay, magic mirror. Pretty pretty standard starting item. You know what though? I'll take it. Because uh, I tell you what, there, there have been some playthroughs before where I'm still using recall potions <laughs> up to Moon Lord. And I'll also take this chandelier as well. I'm also just going out of my way to grab cobwebs. I really do want to take this take this slow. And I think maybe what we might do is make some form of yo-yo. And then we can make a yo-yo string. Oh, yeah, boys. Right, got to be careful of these slimes. Hey, more silver up there as well. Nice. Oh, God. Stay away. I don't know how I'm going to get through master mode. I actually do get, <laughs> I get anxiety with these slimes just here. Oh, God, look at that. Look at how much is there, and then look at that. I feel like the game is uh, is weirdly tempting. They're like, oh, you, you see this over here? Just 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 come and have a little come and have a little wander over here. I don't know, fam. I don't know if that's a if that's a bright move. I wonder what this is for though. That's got to be a boulder boy, ain't it? And you know what? I'm just gonna destroy it. We're not gonna find out. <laughs> I thought maybe we'll tempt it. Or do you reckon it's a new type of explosive? Oh, I'm so I'm so tempted just to just to go on it. No, I'm not. I'm not playing into to red sick games. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs> it was probably a boulder because we didn't get the pressure plate. Do you know what? I really did think this would be hooked up to some kind of explosive. When you see stuff like this, yeah, yeah, you would think you would think that this is this is like a trap, right? A detonator trap. Maybe it still is. Oh no, it isn't. All right. I tell you what, it's actually pretty strange going back to vanilla Terraria when you play modded every day. 
because I'm so used to having the mod Vein Miner, and if you've never played modded before, Vein Miner is essentially this mod that will instantly mine everything, especially ores. But I will say, it's kind of nice to kind of go back to that slow approach. I'm doing some gardening today, and gardening's quite a slow thing. It's quite a boring, adult, slow thing. But if you get it on the right day, with the right weather, it's actually pretty good. And that's how I'm feeling about mining. It's the right day. I've been dying to play this. I'm grateful for a little bit of slow mining. God, there's so much ore around here, though. I'm just going to keep getting it all. Why not? There might be a new silver recipe. You never know. I tell you what, this piano down here is going to look sick in my new house. Yeah, I'll take this free furniture. And a life statue. Nice. Oh, it's called a heart statue. Um, it's another magic mirror. <laughs> look, I said you were good before, mate. You know, I, I praised you. I gave you all this love. I was like, yeah, I'm magic mirror gang, not recall gang. I don't know now. Terraria, what's with the trolling boys? Oh my God. <laughs> I want to show some 1.4 stuff. And what do you give me? Two magic mirrors. <laughs> you know what I'm going to get next? A flare gun. All right, so I think I'm going to bail on that. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably nighttime back at home. Come here, I'll light it up for you mobile viewers, all right? Crank the brightness. <laughs> it's time. Okay, well, I'm going to make some more torches. And I think I'm going to start... Um, yeah, I'm going to start building out what I actually want to have. So, I'm going to be lazy here. And I'm going to do this outside. Because usually I would dump all my um, my crafting stuff inside of the, uh, the first house. But considering I want to go for the approach where we build... I get torches from that. What? That was sick. A torch holding zombie that drops torches. That's pretty convenient, actually. I quite like that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna build it all outside. And then, yeah, I'm going to keep the houses looking nice. So, oh, oh, this is new. So these are how you get those, uh, those gem trees. They're just like special acorns. Oh, that's really sick. Yeah, I did wonder how you would get them. For some reason, oh, that's new as well. A dirt bomb. A small explosion that will spread dirt. Really? How does that look? Because I've got I've to check that out. We'll check that out in a minute. A sticky dirt bomb. <laughs> it just gets worse. Just gets worse. I love it. Yeah, I want to I wanna build this out real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, yeah, I'm going to slap down um, standard stuff, really. Two doors. Uh, a table. Two chairs. Oh, it's going to look amazing, boys. I tell you what I would like as well. I'm going to make a furnace. I think I just need some more some more torches maybe. Unless I don't have enough stone. Oh no, I don't. Well, we'll go mine some stone in a minute, but I was going to say we could get some uh, some gray brick. So then we could do gray brick and uh, and regular back wall as well. Oh man, it's like a whole new side to me. I feel like um I've honestly been so encouraged by the uh, the pylons. Normally if I was playing Terraria, I mean I like building. But I think if I was starting something up, I, I, I wouldn't really necessarily care all that much. But I think what we'll do is we'll do one underground, like a little town underground, and then one here. Oh, it's going to look amazing. Oh, it's going to look so good. I think Animal Crossing has helped a lot as well. <laughs> I feel like, like I'm a changed man after getting into Animal Crossing. So what I'm going to do now is the night time's over. So I'm going to grab a bunch of uh, stone so that we can basically add grey brick wherever it's needed. But we've got to test this dirt bomb. I need to see what it looks like. Because it sounds, I will be honest, a little goofy. Why would you need a dirt bomb? I think one of you will probably figure it out. Can you tell me? Can you let me know why you'd need a dirt bomb? Is it for building? Oh god, it really is just a dirt bomb. It's the dirty bomb, boys. Well, somebody will find a use for it, right? Like I said, you play early Terraria... You look back on it in a few months and somebody's beating the Moon Lord with a dirt bomb. Right, that's what's going to happen. Trust me, it will be the pro strat. What happens if you use a dirt bomb during the Old One's army? Do they just phase through it? Are people going to exploit that? It's the magic of an update. We will find out in many, many months from now. Alright, so let's see what's down here then. It's looking like it might be leading into... Uh, to the desert biome, maybe. It's either that or the world gen now has just uh, natural like sandy parts to it. I could totally see that happening. 
The thing is, though, we won't be going to uh, to the desert in our adventure. I think it's I think it's probably a bit too spoilery. We might just have to stick to caves. All right. Is there anything down here other than this big slime? Oh, I'm gonna. Go oh no no no! Oh come on now, <laughs> come on now. This is why we're all gonna die in master mode for real. That's what it is. You get tempted. You're like, oh, I really like amethyst. I really want an amethyst hook. And then you die to a boulder. Well, we dropped two gold. God, look at how gorgeous the world is. It makes me so happy, honestly. It just looks so good. All right, well, I'm going back there. And then I'm going to come back up. I'm going to use my stone. I'm going to get crafting, right? We're going to be prepared. Hey, look at this. So not only are we tempted by the amethyst, there's also a, a house in here. And a new painting. Well, it's not a new painting. It just seems like... um. Have all of these houses all had paintings? I'm pretty sure that's new, right? Like, maybe paintings are uh, a lot more common now. Oh god, look at this. I've opened up the floodgates from the first area where we explored into here. Oh, <laughs> we actually did get the flare gun. That's dead funny. <laughs> it's honestly a classic at this point. Angel statue. Every time I look at an angel statue now, I'm going to think of, uh, of that tweet Red sent me. That angel statues were... Originally going to be the sprite for uh, for the cloud in a bottle and that he enjoyed it so much because he worked on it for a couple of hours He just left it in the game. I love that. That's my favorite bit of uh, Terraria history now You know what? I don't know why we're uh, mining like a scrub. We've got plenty of bombs. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna bomb it Look at that so down here is the start of uh, the real underground you can see the uh, the background start to change so i think what we'll do is we'll end the uh the caving part for today because you know we've got to pace ourselves right can't spoil everything um but we'll check that out tomorrow that sounds like a, a great place to start all right so let's make some let's make some stuff then okay we're gonna slap down this bad boy and i'm also gonna make a anvil unless i grabbed one no i didn't right you know what it's like though you get you get loads of free stuff if you just go caving for long enough Okay, let's make plenty of lead. Thank you very much. We're going to be using lead to make a bucket soon so that I can do a little bit of fishing. But I think that'll be something for tomorrow as well. Silver bars, we've got 29 of those. Mate, look at that. We're actually kind of on it. So I think what I'll do then for my day one upgrades, gold pick. I'm going to say that's a necessity. And then I would say silver bow is also... Pretty great. Yeah, I'm going to go silver bow. And then, let's see what else we can make. Ooh, a weather vane. That's new, right? I can't really remember. The thing is, like, I'm pretty sure we had one of these in the trailer. That's why I'm getting confused. What's this? Great. Can be placed. Allows only liquids through. And can be toggled open or closed. Ooh, a new block. Chaos is going to go mad for that. <laughs> He's going to love that. All right, well, let's let's fill out this world anyway. I'm going to use some gray brick, like I said, and uh, and make it look nice. I'll tell you one thing. I do need a little house for myself. So I think what I'll do is I'll make a house for me over here. And then we can start storing, like, all of our chests and stuff like that. And then we'll have the town off to the left. Oh, my God. It's going to look so good. Yeah, it's going to look amazing. Oh, my God. Look at that. I just placed down a uh, silver chandelier and it's blowing in the wind. Now, I wonder if I had back wall behind that, would that blow in the wind or not? Because if that's the case, that would be amazing if it could try and figure out where the wind's coming from. Let's give it a, a little go, right? I'm not going to... Look, I'm not going to say that that's going to be the case, but it might be. All right, it's not. <laughs> that's still fine, though. It's still really cool. Yeah, I wanted to build a, uh, a bigger room here because I thought we could have all of our... Our chests laid out eventually. I mean, I don't have loads of them, but I'm sure we can make more. What's this? Stone platforms. Hey, look at that. You're new as well. So I wonder if there'll be more stuff for uh, for grey brick as well. Like grey brick platforms, maybe? Well, I don't know. That'd be cool. Boys, it's already night time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack on with building. All right. I've got to show this. This is so sick. All right. When you're low on health, your eyes look aggravated look at that that is so good i used to make my thumbnails look like that and it would take a bit of time but now that he's healing back up he's like oh i feel better 
I'm just gonna unrest those eyes. That is genuinely so sick. So I decided while it's night time, because it's night time once again, uh, I would come and mine some sand here. Oh, look at that. Loads of gems. Because the thing is, I don't really want to uh, spoil the desert for everyone. So if we just stick to uh, to using this sand here, this is probably more than enough for uh, for ages anyway. I really like how these um, these stars look. They look so good. It's such a change from the original version of Terraria. Like, going back and playing all those old versions before jumping into this update... It's done wonders for me because I'm, I'm really starting to appreciate all these little things. Yeah, they, they just look so good. It's all these little things that really add to um, to the atmosphere of this update. And this episode's not done an amazing job at showing you everything that's new. Because, of course, you know, world gen is world gen. There could be a million new things and we haven't seen it yet. But um, but hopefully it's given you a little slice of um, of the atmosphere, which is my favorite part of the update. All right, well, since it's daytime, let's uh, finish up our builds and then we'll probably call it a day. So what I basically want to add is a bunch of glass back wall. I love glass back wall so much. Look, this is a uh, building tutorial as you'll ever see me. Trust me, if you're new around here, I'm not a master builder. I never will claim to be. I just really like um, starting homes. So this is how I build all of my starter homes. I just really like the aesthetic. They held a uh, competition for a new vanity outfit in Terraria 1.4 and uh, and I voted for the Traveler because he matches my houses. Unfortunately, he didn't win. That's fine. We got some great winners anyway, but I uh, thought I'd make that public. Okay, let's build this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hammer and, uh, and slope some blocks. Then it just looks a little bit better. All right, let me, uh, let me slope away these two, just like that. And then I'm also going to do this one as well. And then we should probably find a place for our paintings. I just want one of them up. So I think what I might do is add some gray back wall here. And then we'll put this one on if it lines up right. Oh, it kind of doesn't. That would have been good if it did. Yeah, maybe that one. So just above the piano is like a portrait of the friends that you might have. Although nobody's friends with the goblin, so I'm gonna take that back. Right, guys, I think that rounds it up for episode one. Now, if you are new around here, do maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. Chippy's Couch is actually my smaller channel. A lot of people don't even know that I have it, but here we do daily Let's Plays, and a big part of my Let's Plays is just talking about, you know, what I'm up to. It's kind of like a vlog. It's mixed with Terraria. It's a whole bunch of things. We've got a great community. So if you want to join, please join. But if you're just here to check out what 1.4 looks like, I hope you had a good time and hopefully we'll meet again. Right. Thank you to Relogic for this amazing opportunity. And a big shout out to all the members that are scrolling by on screen now. Remember, if you do want to become a member, it's only $5 a month and you get your name for every day that you are a member. So every video during your membership, you get your name shouted out, right? That's going to do it. Have a great one, and I'll see you for the next part in a couple of days. Peace.